Today was the first day of early voting across the state and voter turnout was strong in many places, including all three early voting locations in Macon, Bibb County. Kayla Solomon spent the day visiting those three sites. Kayla joins us live now from the Board of Elections to show us what she saw. Frank, polls are now closed for the day, but most of the problems that happened earlier today are now were cleared up by the afternoon. One of the biggest issues that they had was long wait times. This was the scene on Monday morning outside the Macon Bibb Board of Elections. So far it's exciting. I'm ready to get in the door and vote and cast my ballot. Reagan Dunn is a first time voter. She and her family decided to vote today and they waited more than two hours to do so. It's 1120 and right now it's 110, so we're about to hit two hours. Dunn says despite the wait, she was satisfied with the people wearing masks and the amount of young people she saw in line. I would just advise y'all to vote. I know it's not really most people don't do it, but I would just say do your right to vote and it's free and it's your democracy depends on it. But this location had the longest wait time overall over at Theron Usry Park Community Center. The McMahon family says they only waited about 20 minutes. It was pretty exciting since it's its first presidential election. My my grandfather was an immigrant and felt strongly and uh, and revered his right to vote. So. I feel like we've passed that along to our kids. Her son, Sean, says he enjoyed his first time voting. After not being able to vote in the previous presidential election, I was definitely uh, very geared up to make sure I could at least try to have a little bit of a voice in this one. And um, it's it's a lot more, it's way easier, of course, than a lot than a lot what you might think. The Elaine Lucas Senior Center had early issues with voting pads, but the Board of Elections says they were sorted out within the first few hours of opening. And now I'm here with Board of Elections Chairman Mike Kaplan. Mike, this is day one of early voting done. What are your early thoughts from today? Well, it's actually an historic day for the voters of Bacon Bibb County. We had three polling locations for the first time ever. And thank goodness we did. We had a massive turnout. Had some difficulty with lines early this morning. Uh, they all evened out to about a 30 minute, 45 minute wait at others, which is considering the turnout we had. We voted over a thousand people out here at Pine on Avenue alone. And I'm not sure of the numbers yet at the other two lo uh, locations, but we did have lines all day at the Lucas Center and the uh, Theron Elsery uh, North Macon Park. And, and I'm just glad to see people out voting. And, and I want to thank the voters for their patience. Everyone has been fabulous. I want to thank the Bibb County uh, poll workers who uh, we put this together in about three weeks. The uh, Macon Bibb County government gave us the go ahead about three weeks ago. And we put these two new polling locations together in about three weeks time. And, and we hope the citizens of Macon enjoyed having having options for early voting. Right, and just so you know, their early voting continues for the next three weeks, leading up to Election Day on November 3rd. Live in Macon, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. All right, thank you, Kayla. While Georgia's early voting period is officially underway, now some counties won't actually start until tomorrow because of Columbus Day and Indigenous Peoples Day. If you live in Houston County, your early vo voting location is the Board of Elections office. That's in Perry. It'll be open from 8 until 5, and that starts tomorrow.